Okay, so developing right now, a different kind of football team is facing the battle of its life. For the first time, the University of Memphis rugby team is going to the Sweet 16 championships, but getting there is a fight in itself. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio joins us from the newsroom to break this story down for us. Hi, Jenny. Hi, you know, unlike football and basketball, which are considered varsity sports, the rugby team is a club team, which means it doesn't get the same type of university funding. Now the team is trying to raise money to make it to the tournament. With more success, you need more resources, of course, um, and it's, it's kind of bittersweet. Bittersweet, says the team's captain, because he knows what lies ahead for the University of Memphis rugby team. The club has been around for more than 30 years, but coach Mark Holly says this year they are making history, undefeated in conference play, heading to the Sweet 16, and hopefully even further, if all goes well, a national championship is within reach. It's very special for the kids. They've worked hard, and it's a, it's a great group, group of kids. Uh, couldn't have coached a better team. To get there, Holly says they need cash. That's why the team started a GoFundMe page. They're asking for $12,000 to help cover expenses. The fact that we're traveling next weekend to Greenville, South Carolina to compete in the uh, Division II uh, Sweet 16, we need money to get there. We'll take anything that we can get. Any any donations uh, will certainly help the cause for next weekend making our, our, our travel for the, for the club. This is going to be a very challenging a few weeks ahead of us. Um, it'll be one that tests everything that we've been working for, uh, but we hope to come out victorious. Now the team first plays Villanova next Saturday in the tournament. If they win, they'll play another game on Sunday. The national championship will be held the second weekend in December. Live in the newsroom, Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News. Jenny,